morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk and a new home. The storm is well and truly on its way. We are not going to meet this target. We just, I'm just going to be honest, we're not going to meet this target. There is no way we're going to make three and a half thousand food rations in like three days. It's just not going to happen. Um, the hunters are going out. I suppose we could build more hunters. I suppose we could build more more hunters but i honestly don't think it's gonna make a huge difference we'll give it a try though uh how many can we smack in yeah let's do let's just do to that uh what's gonna be the most effective way of linking these things up probably through that so if my uh <laughs> my voice sounds a bit dodgy at the moment it's because I am literally coming off the back of uh, having the flu for the second time, which is fun. Um, I thought at first it was COVID. Turns out it wasn't COVID. It was the flu. Um, so yeah, that that's that's fun. But I I've discovered these days whenever I get ill, my voice seems to get deeper. So kind of makes me want to be ill more often. But no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's happening. Right, what are our objectives beyond getting food? Do we actually have any? Or are we literally just gonna like skip through two days and get to the big freeze? So that's bringing in about 250 a day. Yeah, that, it, yeah, that's not gonna, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. That just isn't gonna happen. Uh, we need to start up the steel mills again because we are completely out of steel. Thank you. We got some food. We got some resources back. Uh, do we have anything in research that is worth doing? Uh, what is it? It's... Oh, no. The hothouse. No. We need them working. We need them working. Even though they're only making three an hour, we need them working. We cannot afford for them to be not working. Now, the only research I want to do is a hot house insulation. It's the only research I can think I want to do at the moment. I think we might just literally end up skipping through these next few days because there's gonna, it's just going to get colder and there's nothing, there's nothing we can actually do. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of anything that we can actually do. Insulation is done and I think... I think that's gonna be it maxed out for the research tree. There's no point doing that because it uses steam cores, which we don't have any of. There's no point doing that because it just reduces the amount of people that we need for the infirmary, but we're already, we already have way more people than we can ever use. No point doing that because that needs steam cores. Uh, no point doing that because, well, we're not gonna have time to use it, let alone even start using it. I suppose we could do that, but yeah, it's gonna double us. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think we need as much we need as much coal as we can possibly have to keep us going. I think I can literally just rapidly push through these days. I suppose I can use the. Um, uh, where are the church buildings? I can push those to help me out. I suppose we do have 16 amputees, but to be honest with you, by the time we get that thing up, the factory up and running, um, there'd be no point to it. Right, let's push on through to day 41. If anything exciting happens, then I will slow things on down, but otherwise, I think it's going to be best if we uh, just keep cracking on. Okay, so they're bringing in nearly 400 a day. Not bad, not bad. Oh, God. <sighs> so a crowd of terrified people is storming the stockpiles and start plundering our supplies. We managed to fight them off, but they demand wood for heating and reinforce their homes. We need... I think we can do that. But they, are they going to ask for more? No, I think we can do that. Yeah, that'd be alright. I don't mind doing that. We're getting enough wood on a daily basis. I, I, okay, now, now, now we have an issue. Now we have an issue. Uh, am I in, even in the right, I'm not in the right tree, am I? No. Am I going to have to do that? Am I going to have to do it? Am 
I going to have issues? With the introduction of the new faith, all who voice doubts will be branded enemies of the faith. Everyone must be devoted to the survival of our cause. All those who are not will be swept aside. Ah. As much as that has a lot of pros, I feel like that's going to get overly violent for no reason other than the sake of being violent. So I'm going to not do that. What I want, what I need to do is find a way of heating up these hot houses. No, the uh, kitchens. Uh, cancel that. Put you on cold. I need to find a way. Okay, so that's, that's got a bloody, that's got two right next to it. And I still can't heat it. Jeez. There isn't insulation research for the kitchens. That's interesting. I never noticed that before. You can't do insulation research for them. Huh. Let's try and see if we can do improved heaters. It's so cold we can't overcome it. Wow. Even through that it's too cold. Now we might have an issue. Now we might have an issue. Now I've got to see if I can get this thing hot enough to uh, warm enough to actually be operable. Calm. Oh, there is a there is a level of insulation. I'm assuming I've done it all though. Yeah, it's just one. It's just one level. That's it. That's all it is. Jeez, that's bad. That is bad. I don't know if people are homeless. I understand. The rest. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realise how massively that would. Oh, I think I might have just buggered myself. And that's not even going to reach it by the time. It... Oh, I might have just buggered myself right at the end. Oh, no. Oh no! What have I done? Oh god! Oh dear! Oh, and now it works! Oh, for goodness sake! Right, in that case, let's. Oh, they're not gonna function because the freeze is gonna come, oh bugger! <laughs> well. They did a little bit. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. Okay, let's save on everything we can. I'm afraid it's going to get cold. It's just—it's going to happen. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's save on everything we can. Let's keep the main generator going. We'll keep that one next to the infirmary going. Well. Balls. I think I might have cocked that one up. We were doing really well up until then. Oh, God, the mines are going to collapse. Oh, jeez. We're doing everything we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping into the shafts is so cold now. The hydraulic roof supports are starting to freeze. When they do, the start will start collapsing. Guild. <sighs> yeah, well, there is literally nothing we can do, so we just have to sit here and brave it out, basically. Um, so it's so cold, the hydraulic, uh, the, oh, the if the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We should either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports. The task is extremely no, abandon them. We've had enough people die already. We don't need to needlessly be killing people. <laughs> and they'll go from home to home. <laughs> and they'll die of frostbite while they're doing it. Brilliant. Love it. Yeah, nighttime position probably isn't a good thing. People die in the streets, kept an angry crowd has gathered to protest against the deplorable state of our healthcare. Many people have been ill for a long time with no help in sight. They demand a new place of treatment. Uh, 
Have you not noticed what is going on? It's minus 100, guys. Captain, the Earl and their families have gathered to demand we do something, anything to help them, but the numbers of frostbite cases keep rising. We may not be able to help the sick. We could use triage to heal most of them, but many would have to die. It is what it is. I'm sorry. We'll be fine. We've got 6,000 left. We'll be absolutely fine. I'm more concerned about the food than the cold. Here we go, and we're doing okay. 200 amputees. Jeez. Oh. Bloody Nora. Minus 110. Now that is, that's extreme. That is rough. I think soup is probably the only law that I'm looking at. The problem is, even for leadership, it would be it would be really difficult to make decisions in this kind of situation because at minus 110. Is going to be thinking straight. <laughs> no one. And it's going to get to what? Minus 130? And we're running out of We've run out of fuel. We've run out of food. So one of our engineers has come crashing to the door demanding to see you. I've run the calculations of the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but temperature just before then will drop drastically. There's nothing we can do to protect us from such cold panic. Is starting to spread and our people are losing hope. Well, balls. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not going to whip people in the middle of the bloody cold with this. Can you imagine how much that will hurt? Uh, minus 120. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. You don't have to work. I'm not going to force you to work in this cold. Actually, no, we can't. <laughs> What can we actually, what can we get the automaton doing? I suppose we can do that. I'm actually really surprised they're functioning. I'm really surprised they're functioning. Oh, what is it with it? Do you, oh. <laughs> Guys, come on! It's minus 120 and you're worried about healthcare. Just stay inside. Jesus Christ. So the family living in this house, they're all dead. They were found huddled together in tight spaces under the beds, behind wardrobes, next to each other, some partially undressed, all of them frozen to death. Yeah, the cold will make you do some weird ass things. We're fine, we're fine, come on. We're fine. 19, jeez. Why are these uh there? No, no, go home. Why are you even functioning? Go home, 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 go home. Go the hell home. Thank you. Let's launch these. It's fine, we have two days. We have two days to restore everything, but everything's gonna warm up in a day, so it's fine, everything's good. So that's miracle of man who went looking for his daughter is bad. What? Through all of that? He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but they got lost and had to wait in a lull in the blizzard to find their way back. They're both exhausted and frostbitten, very happy. Bloody hell. Well, all I can say is bloody good job. Well done. Jesus Christ. Come on. We're nearly over it. We're nearly over it. There we go. Here comes the massive freeze. 
So uh, most of the people have abandoned their workplaces and stay at home with their families, only medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever the end will bring. Pretty much. How cold is this going to get? Absolutely nothing we can do. We've just got to wait it out. Just got to wait it out. Just got to wait it out. We've just got to wait it out. Yes, the storm ends. survived we made it we did indeed make it holy crap now this this is what i love i love this part because we get a time lapse of the city being built i love time lapses yeah this is honestly i think this is probably one of my favorite parts of the game is seeing this Because you you really forget what the what the city looked like in the early days after you built it out so immensely. So I remember we had a few massive, really, really rapid expansions. Yep, there goes one. There goes another one. Yeah, now we're massively expanding on housing. That's when the storm of all the uh, travelers started coming in. Wow. I, I think we've probably lost a few, oh, I was about to say a few hundred people. I don't know whether that's surviving or whether that's dead. Jeez. Well, ladies and gents. That is Frostpunk, A New Home. We, of course, have tons of DLC to go through, and hopefully we can get through a few of them. I might run them kind of side by side, because I'm expecting Frostpunk 2 to come out within sort of the next six months or so. Um, so, yeah, I might run a few, few of the DLC cities side by side. We've also possibly got Ostriv coming back within the next few months we don't know the development is hard at work on that considering the country that the guy lives in kudos to him for continuing development of that and we've also got a couple other city builders such as uh banished and um timber timber work timber wolf timber timber something the one with the beavers i'm gonna give that a try because someone recommended it to me <laughs> as always ladies and gents thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your support and I'll see you in the next one.